Awkwardness was in the air at the 2024 Grammys. I mean, what else would you expect when you throw a bunch of weird famous people under the same roof and expect them to act in an interesting manner? Oh my God, I just got stuck in the rain and traffic and thought I was gonna miss this moment. From post award winning jail time to Beyonce getting embarrassed and mad at Jay-Z for calling out the Academy, here are the most awkward moments from the 2024 Grammys. We're gonna switch gears now to the Grammys. It was a golden night. It Good really was a golden night. We were just saying, yes, we did stay up. You couldn't look <laughs> away. During her performance, Miley Cyrus called out the crowd for not singing along to Flowers. We were good, we were gold. Kind of dream that can't be so. Miley yelled out to the audience through the microphone, asking them why they are acting like they don't know her song. Why are you acting like you don't know this song? And to be fair, Flowers did win record of the year and got what, like two billion streams on Spotify in 2023? But this is Hollywood, Miley, and they're all too cool to sing along with you. Unless it's Party in the USA, of course, because that's a banger. I just won my first 21 Savage's lack of energy was caught live on the red carpet, and it also caught people's attention as he blatantly played into the awkward persona that some of these rappers like to play up to the media. With a bunch of one word answers to the interviewer's questions, 21 Savage was playing the too cool for school vibe. Almost like, ugh, why did I even come to this show in the first place? I have so many better places to be right now. And in one of my personal favorite awkward moments from the show, it was when SZA took forever to come out after winning an award. This girl took so long to come out on stage that all of the shots of the crowd just showed all these people straight up looking for her. Speaking of shots, SZA said the reason she was late and out of breath while accepting the award was because she was in the middle of changing and taking shots when she heard her name get called. Time and place, girl. But I get it, the Grammys would kind of be nothing and boring without a Jaeger bomb here and there. Back to the red carpet though, because this awkward moment occurred when Michael Trotter from the group War and Treaty told a reporter how he thought his wife, Tanya Trotter, was going to divorce him before their Best New Artist Grammy nomination. And Michael, I'm glad your relationship survived the hardships all the way through to your first Grammy nomination, although couples therapy could be a great clickbait title for your next album. The next moment came straight from the Grammy Academy themselves and their Twitter account as they misannounced the winner for an award. The Recording Academy had everyone thinking Nicki Minaj had finally won her first Grammy just for it to be an accidental tweet. And if the admin for that Twitter account is watching this video, I hope you still have employment. And if not, well, FTD News is always looking for a new Twitter gossiper. How about this one? Are you ready for some Grammy crime action? Because Killer Mike was reportedly arrested after winning three Grammys. Reports on exactly what he was arrested for have not yet been released, but I don't know if they'll let you bring those trophies into your jail cell, Mr. Mike, so I don't know, either toss him or put them up on Facebook Marketplace. Listen, they're just not gonna let you bring those trophies. In a moment of the night, Jay-Z called out to the Recording Academy's voting record while being honored by the Grammys, to which Beyonce did not look too happy. In fact, it looked like Beyonce was borderline embarrassed by her husband Jay-Z for calling out the Grammys on her behalf, claiming that there is something wrong with the voting system since Beyonce has been nominated for the most Grammys but never won Album of the Year. I don't want to embarrass this young lady, but she has more Grammys than everyone and never won album of the year. Juicy, juicy, can I say. Ready for some true insider gossip? Well, during his live performance at the Grammys, Travis Scott started raging and destroyed his own set. I'm talking throwing chairs, breaking everything in sight, throwing microphones and letting everything go, lighting everything on fire. What is he doing here? It was a delightful sight for Travis Scott and fellow rap fans, yet this was not intentionally a part of his scripted performance. In fact, this act of rageful destruction 
was actually Travis Scott's reaction to his baby mama Kylie Jenner moving on from him and now dating Timothy Chalamet. And since Kylie Jenner did not attend the Grammys to support Travis, it only makes sense that he took the chance to release his anger on stage and show America how mad and upset he truly is and how much he misses Kylie Jenner. And this is what he wanted to do to Timothy Chalamet is just smash him with chairs. In a classic Aki moment, Victoria Monet was cut off during her acceptance speech by the background elevator music of the Grammys, the one that we all know and love so well. Listen, at this point, I get that it's overwhelming and you have 23,049 people to thank and you, you know, don't really want to stop your speech, but you know, once the music comes on, you might stop your speech because that's one thing. But it's kind of embarrassing if you just ignore the music and the cues and you just keep rambling on and on and on like, yo, oh, we get it. We get it. So, which moment was the most awkward in your opinion? And which Grammy moment surprised you the most? Let us know in the comments down below. Until then, keep your head high and from the team here at FTD News, enjoy the rest of your day.